Hi, Georgia again with Puking Pastels. This segment we will finally be cutting your fabric with your pattern pieces. Once you've gotten to this part of the process, this is the easy part. So we're on the downhill here. Most sewing patterns come with a cutting layout that looks like this. It will show you how to lay your pattern pieces down on your fabric. My ankle biters comes with one that's very simple. I'm just going to lay out my pattern pieces the way it looks here on my folded fabric. So here's my fabric. These are my selvages. That's the edges with the words on them. There are also little tiny dots along the edges of the selvages. And then we've got our fold over here where the fabric is folded in half. Now generally, you'll want to fold your fabric so that the wrong side is out. But because this fabric has a direction, I need to see the outside of the fabric facing up. Now when I say it has a direction, that means that these skulls have a right side up and if they're going the other way, they have an upside down. That's called nap. Fabric with nap has a direction. So I'm going to make sure that both pant legs have the right direction of the fabric. I don't want one upside down and one right side up. So I'm going to lay my pants down here. And this will take a bit more fabric because of the nap. Because these aren't going to fit next to each other, I don't think. Actually they will. So we're going to lay these down here. These grain line markings need to go directly on the grain, which is parallel to the edges on the selvages. So we want this line to be parallel with the selvage, so we'll lay that direc directional correctly. And I've got them both going right side up because I do have nap in this fabric. I'm going to pin them. Pin the paper to the fabric through both thicknesses of the fabric because you need to cut two of each of these pieces. It says on the pattern pieces how many you need to cut. And I'm going to cut directly around the edges. one piece and you'll want to make do all your markings now if there are any these this pants pattern doesn't have any markings you'll need to add except maybe the fold line you might want to draw that on there with the fabric marker but if you have darts or notches or small circles which all you're going you're going to need all of those as you're sewing because it'll show you where to put a button or where to stop sewing for certain seams. Those marks can mean a whole lot of things. And notches are generally so that you can match up seams correctly. So you want to put those all those markings in now. Because once you take off your pattern piece, you won't know where those are anymore. Okay, 
now once I have those cut out, I'm going to be cutting out my contrasting band. Contrast means a color that is in contrast with the regular fabric, and I've chosen the red skulls for that. Paying attention to the directionality, I will cut that piece out as well. If you're not using the contrast, you don't have to worry about that at this point. So I'll fold it so I can see the pattern. Then we'll be pinning it and cutting it just like I did the other pieces. And then you're done cutting and you're ready to sew. Now what I love about PDF patterns, and the reason why I think they've become so popular on the internet, is because you can print it and cut the size that you need. I cut a size 3 on this. Well, let's say tomorrow I need a size 4. I can print it out again and cut the size 4. With a commercial pattern, you can't do that. You have to trace it over and over. This really cuts out all that work, and it makes it easier for you. And you can find many other PDF patterns in my shop just like this.